Because Zora kind of deserves to have gotten broken. Should have ran Valsalus, man. That's some good stuff right there. That's some good stuff right there. How many? Three! Three Echo! Abe! My debt! I'm just gonna shift here three times to get the point across! <laughs> I've paid off my debt! I'm good! Yeah, it was a good idea to go live tonight. <laughs> Alright. We are Goose Bros! 50% item rarity! Huge! 24 uses! 24? That's insane! That sets us for like, any modified crystal we want to run. That is massive, man! And that's a trinket too, so if I wanted to, I could run it with the frog step up. <laughs> and grief myself more. <laughs> oh, that is so sick, man. We got three from the mystery box. <laughs> no Discord call audio on VOD? Fuck! Yo, VOD viewers, I'm 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 playing with a wow. All right, so the re-rolling, what is that? 10% item rate, 5, 12, and 22, 19 and 29. Uh, 25 and 41. Oh. So that in combination with the Lucky Goose is what are we at right now? 25 item quantity and 91 rarity. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yep. How easy is yours? I need six zombie hide and three spider soul charms. That's basically it. Uh, I'll loot this main room and then go north. So we both need zombie hide, okay. It's tough because I know that we're in here for a reason to get the doors, but also co-op scouts are just so fun that I naturally just want to play it. Did you already go direction? Okay, I'm going south. On south. Do you check the upstairs at all when you're running in treasure rooms? Okay.
No, it's for Soul Charm though. Okay, I've got one too. Do you need anything from Coin Piles? I guess not too bad. Got your blood vials for you. Be honest, did that like make anybody else pause or was that just me? <laughs> Such a fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> I need three. Okay, thank you. Yep. Dude, I just baited my entire chat and myself a little bit by accident. So I have my bombing IQ just like in my inventory. Also, I think I found a pizza night door. Um, and I was looting a, uh, a living chest, but I fat fingered. So I accidentally put the key like into the chest, but it was really quick. So when I sorted it, it looked like there was a key in the chest and everybody was like, Oh, hey, what's that? I kind of freaked out myself too. <laughs> I didn't fall for it, smile. Don't lie, we know you did. I found a scallium door. Yeah, I found a scallium door. It's the only two I've found, so I mean, I don't know what's going on in your vaults, man.
bone shards are okay. Do you also sometimes try to break ambush spawners before they finish the wave of spawning? Or are you normal? <laughs> okay. I have two, but it's just like, I wonder if... Like, people gotta be watching, like, do you know how this game works? Have you found any doors yet? Just round head. I got my drown head though, so I'm good. Got a bone shard for you. No. That's why too early. Right now. Another day, another blame game from Abe. For a person who doesn't lie, you sure shift the blame a lot. Like, some would say that's lying in itself. What? Me smile. I have three zombie hide and I need six. How many do you have? <laughs> you need eleven. That's a you problem, boss. I think you've got the soul charms for me. What I haven't found in a while is an Omega dig site. I wouldn't be against finding one of those again. You don't like them? I don't know. Season 2, they used to be good for catalyst farming. I feel like it might be the same here. Could be nice. First monolith and now this.
Gorge and I door. I got so excited for a second because I normally make Gorge and I keys. Uh, I had nearly the amount of gems to make it. Yeah, I should have just made two keys. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, other than your company, but... Man. I'm saying autumn here, making it weird. I don't know, dude. I'm finding so many gilded POIs. I feel like I can't not loot them, but maybe I shouldn't be. I think I just found another pizza in my door. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Um... I think just one. Yeah, I've got one. How you doing on Zombie Odd? Haven't checked yet. 
I have six. Yeah, so I've got all of mine. Sweat my ass off, Chad, trying to find this goddamn key. A door. And the objective too. Like, fuck, man. Why is he building? He has no more netherrack. Just working so hard, I really am. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know. I'd bring you along. You're finding pizza on the door. Should have made a piece of that key. Have any more hide? I got one more hide. I haven't found any more living yet. Found some living. No bone shard. Found two living chests. 
please? Creeper eye. Come on, man. Oh, didn't find it. I think I need to do about the same. Wait, I found a village room. Wait. I'm behind the spawn. I don't see a portal room. Come on, man. Don't, don't do this to me. Oh my god, I don't think there's a portal room in here. No portal room. I mean, I could check the library branch, maybe. Was there a library? Yeah, I got a dip. There's a second village room right next to the one village room. Wait, wait, wait. I have keywords too. There's no portal, but there's a, uh, yeah, that thing. A library. Don't give me the scrolls. I need a bone shard, man. Oh, no. You gotta be kidding me. I gotta get down. To there. No. Oh my god, there wasn't one in here. Dude, six chests. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. I'm here. Is it mad enough? Yep. I think that's it. Uh. Do you need anything for me? Other than obviously that, which... Can you throw that Kiwi or two really quickly? Just two. Kiwi's, I'm fine otherwise. Actually, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, we were so close to both of us, man. Did you find a key? Did you find a door at all? Oh, pizza night door, right. A me door. How do you find so many of those? Oh, is that the puzzle one? Oh, that's huge. Alright, we're splitting this crate. Zane's not on, so it's not gonna be an artifact, but... That is a... filled up chest. Here, this is for you at least. Creeper. Did I roll a legendary? <laughs> it's my second legendary Dura roll on a shield. <laughs> I know, man. Oh, sick. One more, one more. Six. 
silly champ. I got another three echo for a mystery box. No, but dude, I got I got three echo for a mystery box at the beginning of my stream from the co-op that we ran today. I no, 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 no listen, listen. I got the for the first co-op that we ran, three minutes into the run, I hit a mine POI or a, like yeah, just an ore POI. And there's just an echo ore just sitting right there, just chilling right there. It was the dominant one. You know, it was, I don't know if you've seen the POI, but it's like one hanging ore and then there's like ore underneath it. It's like I was on, like on a crane or something. And so I got some mystery boxes from that run. So I start my stream off over in the mystery box and I get three echo. And then I break the, the ore and I get five echo from it. And then I get three echo from this mystery. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, nice. Scav, how hard is yours? It's relatively easy, except for the goblets. I need two zombie brains and ten hide. I need three goblets. Everything else is pretty easy. I'm going south. I'm going east. I need three goblets and three drown hides. Okay. That's, that's it. Thank you for letting me know about the audio. I did switch up some stuff and I guess I just completely forgot about that. Or just, not forgot, but I just did it incorrectly. So I appreciate the, the shout on that. What'd you say you needed? Zombie brain? Zombie brain, 10 zombie hide, and uh, two sacks. I need a little bit more, but like those are the difficult items. I got one sack. All right. Three goblets is kind of rough. Ah, uh, Josh, have a good one, brother. What there, a gamba? See, if it's a trap I'm vault and I find an X then. mark. Wait, what? One goblet down. Okay. All right, what'd you, what were you saying? It's a trap vault and I found an X mark. It's going to be trapped no matter what. No. Surely it'll be good, though. You'll be, you'll be fine. Well, the X mark's good. Let's go. Just need some sex. Do you need anything from Mornitz? Nope. He's rich.
Got a zombie brain. Nice. Thank you. Only one trap chest in the whole thing. Pretty That's some, good. That's some peat luck right there. Uh, that's some A block right there. <laughs> I'm not lucky, brother. I just I just play a lot. <laughs> According to Iskel, right? According to Iskel, yeah. See, it sounds like a grudge now that I brought it up twice, but I promise you it's not. I'm just kicking around. <laughs> <laughs> These libraries sometimes have like no living chests in them. Oh yeah, I, I found the library earlier today while I was running with Iskal. And I was like, there's a zero. There's literally, there was literally zero ch uh, living chests in it. I was like, there's nothing in here. He was like, what? What was his response? I think he was uh, surprised. Did he say it was uh, hmm. like, it was supposed to have stuff? I don't remember. That was so long ago. Found up lane door. Should have known. You don't need spider soul charm, right? No. Creeper eye.
So is it confirmed that 200% proficiency is the max that you could have in a forge? Uh, no. Just a myth. It is a myth. It is a mythy myth. Um, excuse me, streamer. I've uh, downloaded the pack off CurseForge and co <laughs> decompiled all the code and actually found out that that is not true. Oh? Who said that? Uh, the voice in my head trying to tell me that it's not true. Uh, I've had people tell me that it's not true. But I also don't ever believe chat. Especially when they try to tell me things. Yeah, them telling you things is kind of a red flag. Like, what are they mm -hmm. even trying to tell you? Yeah. Like, why are you telling me things? <laughs> this is Twitch. Why are you like... telling me things? Why are you telling me things I don't want to hear? Oh, I don't want to hear things from someone that I, like, I don't even know. Hey, where are my doors at? I don't know, man. Look harder. I'm trying my best. Probably hidden behind all the zombie hide I didn't get you last vault. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I kind of forgot about that, but now I remember again. <laughs> Paypals. <laughs> Uh, I can't explain that joke to him, but it's just really fucking good. <laughs> Pete, what the fuck does your door look like? Spring green toothpaste color, man. I don't know. Yeah, that's not it. That's a scallion. You're very right about the toothpaste color. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not against it. You know, like. Yeah. It's a good looking color. Yeah, it's a good color. I don't know why there's three of you guys with similar colors, but not that I'm complaining or anything, you know? Of course not. You don't need a red skull, right? No. Uh, okay, can you tell me what you need What's again? What's up, Antonio? Uh, I need 10 zombie hide. I don't know how many I have. I might have enough. Um, And two zombie brain. Let me check and see what I've got really quick. Uh, I need two more zombie hide. I need one more brain, and that's it. I got, I got your brain. Unless you need one more after that. No, I'm good with that. So I just need okay. two more zombie hide, and I'm good. So what do you need? Goblets and drown hide. Goblets and drown hide. I've got one goblet and one drown hide. Okay, one more of each then. Okay, I got two living POIs next to each other. There's no way I don't get my drown hide here. No way. Yeah, like zero chance. I'm shot, Bucko. I did not get my job. <laughs> it's got to be a bug. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's kind of weird. I'm getting better at critting the baby zombies, and I don't think I've ever felt like I've played better Minecraft in my life. <laughs> Honestly, you should be proud of yourself. Dude, am I staring at Tubby M door? Hold on, I gotta jade this real fast. What is jade? The thing. Oh, jade. Oh, I see, I see. It's a tabium doorman. 
Shouldn't have made a pizza night key, dude. Well, if, uh, you know what, actually? I can't even blame you, because if you did, we'd be getting nothing but pizza night doors. Honestly, true. True. You say you need a zombie hide? I need one more, yeah. Alright, I got one. Thank you. You don't need sacks? I got two sacks. I got enough sack. Goblet, goblet, where are you at? I just need a goblet. I just need a goblet. One more than what I have? Because I've got one. Yes, one more. Okay. I got it. Let's go. All right, you want a canoodle? Still kind of looking for some keys, you know? True. Found an ashram door. Congrats. Thanks. Yes. More making an observation doesn't really benefit either of us. I actually, I've actually been seeing a lot of those too. 
It's a nice looking door. It really is, but not really when you have a sparkle team key. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <gasps> oh. Ow, spiders, please leave me alone. I found a Xenium door, man. Hold Did on, you find your door, though? Is this toothpaste? No, it's green. <sighs> I think a scallium. I'm making my way over to the starting room. I'm on my way too. All right, I'm in the starting room. So what are all the things that you need for me? One goblet. And that's it. I'm your man. What do you need from me? Um, what do you need from me? One brain. Oh, I'll give goblet you brain. for some brain. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I could check one more room. Yeah, I think I might check another room or two. You never know. Oh. Maybe after uh after this vault, I'm gonna be level forty. Oh, I'm gonna be a mid game. Rest in, peace. rest in peace, brother. We can never run a vault together again. Is that what it means? Yep. Man, your base is gonna look real good in two days. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you're gonna be building instead of running vaults. Oh yeah. Yep.
So. What's there? Nothing. I just want to say so. So profound. <laughs> so, how's the weather? Uh, snowing. I miss snow. It's very nice. Right, I was used to snow. live in a snowy climate. Yeah, I'm from New York. Oh, okay. Yep. I do miss New York. My dad's from New York. I've been there a couple of times. Yeah, New York is great. Surely one more room. Checking another room. Gotta be a treasure key in here somewhere. Surely. Or treasure door, rather. Meet me on the other side, Abe. Yep. I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, leaving, leaving. I'm leveling up too fast, man. I I don't know, like... That's, just, that's it. I just don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I don't know. I don't oh, know I if another, the experience curve room. is supposed to be as high as it is right now. Because, like... Either I complete an objective, or I hit, like, a crystal room or two. Or, like, even a minor room. Like a room. Like a room. Yeah, and you get, and I get like anyways. 12k to 15k experience. And that's yeah. like almost an entire level. I agree. <laughs> it's like it feels I know it's the like, you know 90 to 10, 100 is supposed to be greater than or like the exact same from 0 to 90, but at the same time like I don't know. I want to know so, life it and not be at this point yet. <laughs> so for me, it's like I am very much pacing myself, so I feel like if I was to like speed run, I can like, I could be like level like 40 something by now for sure. Mm -hmm. But I am like for sure pacing myself because I don't want to level. Do you eat your burgers at all? No, I haven't eaten any. <laughs> I've eaten a few, but like I still have a large amount back in my base. Yeah, I've eaten like maybe like 10 to 20 just to like hit that like last bit of exp before crafting but i don't know other than that do you think we're completing too many objectives compared to what this guy was talking about of like only wanting it to be like maybe around 10 percent? because i'm assuming that it was meant to be like early game so like or like much earlier levels only 10 percent completion but like We've been completing, like, the whole server, I think, has been completing objectives pretty reliably. Ooh. Ooh. Epic axe, okay. Ooh. And the relic piece. Another epic. Oh, it's a sword. It's oh, a sword. Oh. Epic sword, okay. So we've got about the same.
another relic piece. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh, three prefixes. Only eight armor, though. Eight armor is a lot, man. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can't believe you don't gamba for your gear. I do sometimes. I have to, listen, I can't just Gamba everything, okay? The DJs have to be grateful for the Gambas that they do get. You give them too much and they become whiny and they're like, can we Gamba on the, oh, you're placing grass at your base? Gamble? Can we Gamba on how much grass you need? Like, yeah. Dude, you know, I've actually been noticing that. <laughs> I've actually been noticing that. I have viewers that are like asking for Gamba on the dumbest things. <laughs> Like, I'll literally, I'll, I'll craft, like, two pieces of shield, like, two pieces of gears, and then, like, I'll have a bunch of people that are like, can we gamba? And I'm just like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You gotta mediate it. You gotta mediate it. Alright, I'm rolling the sword. I saw the green pass by once. Two prefix, three suffix, 18.5 damage. Not bad. All right, so we, uh, we're level 40 now after running a couple of vaults, a little couple of completions with Abe. And according to Iscal, level 40 is considered mid game, which to me translates to something is probably supposed to be implemented that hasn't been yet. And I should probably stop leveling because it's not in the game yet. That's the translation that I have in my brain for we're in mid game now is that I've done something that I shouldn't have by getting this far. Um, so there's kind of two options that I could do. I can either a refuse to level any further because things are probably not configured correctly. Well, I don't for the, for I'm kecking, but I don't actually know that. But my assumption is that considering level 20 was when tier two mobs were introduced, maybe level 40 is when tier three are introduced, something along those lines. But I don't know that for a fact. I'm probably going to check in with this guy literally, like, right now, honestly. I'm excited for what the pack has to hold, has to offer. With all that being said, there is another part of me that is an impatient bitch and very much just wants to know all of the good things right away. And do you know what one of those good things is right away that I want to know? Hitting level 41 and getting 100% sword proficiency and getting some tier 3 weapons and getting a better sword. You better believe I'm doing that right now. <laughs> level 41. Alright. According to a single chatter who I fairly want to trust knows the pack just like a little bit because I recognize their name and, you know, they've they probably played a little bit. Apparently this is where he gets tier 3 implicits. Maybe. Possibly. We're at 51 sword proficiency. We're going to roll these one at a time. See how common tier three is, if it is even here in the first place. Oh, it's definitely, oh, it's definitely here. 21 to 30 damage. Tier one attack speed, tier two durability. Oh yeah, we are, we are clear for takeoff. So just as a reference, by the way, for everybody um, who may not know what I've been focusing, make it roll nine at once, just nine. Uh, for everybody who doesn't know what we've been kind of focusing on in here, I've already got strength two leveled up, but I'm currently sitting at 40% uh, of undead mastery. So this is plus 40% on all undead mobs, skeletons, zombies, dwellers, and bosses. We've been doing really, really good damage against tier two mobs. And I don't know whether or not level 40 and beyond is going to be introducing tier 3 or any sort of different balancing, but yeah, swords are going to be a pretty huge thing. Because the main reason that I want to get this is because I really want to work on getting a soul shard build set up. We have an idol for soul shard. Um, this one over here, 73% soul chance. And we've got magnets for soul hunter as well too, which I don't seem to have on me but oh no literally right here um plus 50 soul shards on this one you can barely see it 
right above there. And then adding a weapon on top of that that can kill quickly with any of the haunting modifiers that you can put on crystals. Like, I don't know, man. I kind of really want to run down uh, some soul shard builds. So that's kind of why I've been doing this. And also, I think swords are a really nice thing because you can get so many different modifiers on it. Compared to gear, you're kind of rolling for, like, armor, health, and... I mean, you're still good, don't get me wrong, but this is a little bit more direct of, like... Yeah, you have one weapon on, like, four pieces of gear, so... Eight wants, nine at once. 51.8. Sixty-two point six. You know what? It's better than 0.9%. I'll take it. We're in the green! Well, uh, lime green. Almost, kind of. I'm rolling three at once. Alright, it's already epic being the highest. 23 damage. 23.5 damage. Hello, Tier 2 Training! Oh my god. Well, we know what to expect from this now, don't we? Holy... Hey, maybe we'll actually be able to take on the factory room. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Uh, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Two scrappies. Healing two plus clouds here four. Damn, that's pretty good. So I got tier three and plus it's in tier four hit effects. Okay, okay. Last three. Where's the epic and omegas? Where's the epic and omegas? No way! Poison 2 cloud, 29.5 damage. Empty prefix. The rares take it home. Twenty nine base packing? It's not bad. I'm gonna keep a couple of, like, good swords in here. Scrap the others. <laughs> How many more can we craft? Like 18? 62.6%? Artisan! Woo! 73.3! So we get an average of what? Like 1.1, 1.2 per roll? Jesus. I mean, that's about, like, uh, that is, like, roughly about average, but, like, still, you know, like, we know me. We know me, all right. All right, here's the deal. We're going to gamble on these two, the artisans, the two artisans. I'm going to run the same prediction back. Same exact prediction, only the two artisans. I'm going to roll these seven right now, have nothing to do with the gamba. Oh, it's an epic in there. Poison 2 plus cloud. Seventy-five percent soul chance. Still tier one soul chance. These are all kind of buns, I'll be honest. Like this one's not that bad. Twenty-eight attack damage. Nearly maxed out attack speed, 4k durability. This was actually pretty good. We may mess up with this one a little bit. This would have to be like an implicit reroll, but I don't know if I want to do that on that. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Probably scrap the rest. Oh. <laughs> 
Hold on. Someone might be getting paid. Oh! Oh my god. That's a good sword. That's a- that's not a bad- that's not a bad damage sword. Holy. Okay. How many more can we craft? <clears throat> we can craft another nine. Nine more swords. 73.3. Okay, a little more below average on that one. A little more below average. Still has 81.4. That ain't bad. All right. Full artisans. All right, I'm with it. I'm rolling one at a time. I'm gonna draw this bitch out as long as I can. <laughs> Still worth noting that I have not rolled a single Omega other than the axe that is currently held up on that tree. Something, something, the odds of rolling, uh, one on a die nine times. Fifty-four percent soul chance, twenty-two damage, eighteen holy. Okay, probably saying goodbye to that one. Three commons and one epic, or one rare. Oh, the gr dude. I wish I could be right. I should have done what we we're going to get the most of. There's an epic. Okay. Epics are good on it for now. Oh, God. The tier two implicit, though. I'm probably scrapping this boy. Two prefix, three suffix. Maybe, maybe it's a reroll implicit. I don't know. I don't really know if I want to do it outside of an Omega with the artisan that we have right now, dude. Epic's got it. It's either Epic or Omega at this stage. Retaining. That one's going in the bin. Didn't see any green on that one, or maybe I didn't, I just wasn't looking. That's not a very good one either. Alright, last one. I respect the faith. Does not pay off, though. Um... It's 75% soul chance with a lot of other cosmetic suffixes and prefixes. So... We'll hang on to it, but probably not doing much. Alright, Epic's take it home. Only one epic out of all that. I mean, I say only. It shouldn't be that easy to get epics, especially with the amount of alloy that we're crafting. Let me see if I can make some, uh, vulture, right? 76, is that enough for nine? Or no, uh, eight. That's enough for eight. We can do eight more rolls. 88.2. Two at a time. That's rare. That's common. Too, too implicit. Otherwise, eh, it's all right. One rare, one common. Too rare, too common. Oh my god.
Too rare and too common. That's too common. It's four common totals. So by default, it's either a refund. I really did not expect a four and four. I figured there'd be at least one variable to pierce the two, but these are both rares. I don't know. Yeah, that's common. Common takes it home. Common takes on the dub. Nineteen point five attack damage. Not tier three. Last sword. A <laughs> common. <laughs> Sick. Okay, so at the end of all of that, what was like the best pull that we had out of all of these? Do we have an epic that's a tier 3 implicit? We don't. We've got two epics that we got from all of that, which is actually kind of insane. And both of them are tier 2 implicit. Both of them have three suffixes and only two prefixes. Okay. We got this one that's 75% of the soul chance, everything else kind of sucks. And then we got this one, which is uh, 4 chaining, 4.5 attack damage, tier 3. I feel like I'd probably want to work off this one just because it has the highest... Yeah, both these are good, to be honest with you. Yeah, just really, really high implicit values. I mean, to be honest, like 3... All these are kind of good. Let's we'll see if I can get some rolls and maybe we can snag, like, high damage, chaining, and some soul shard, maybe? Mm, I'm looking for soul shard specifically. But that's, that's kind of what I want to build toward. I don't want to... I don't want to devote too much money to each one of these, just because they are only rares. Soul Chain, that's a lot of blue, and I'm fine without that. I see a little altering, maybe. Healing 2 clouds, really nice. 4 Chaining is so damn good. Yes, right damage. I just want to see what it would give me. Because maybe we replace the sword that we currently have. We don't have the soul shard. You see why sword is such a good thing to get up in proficiency though? Like look at how many different things can be on here. Like you spend so much money on weapons, man. I love it. Oh, um. No chaining. No built-in fatal strike. Eh, it's a low soul chance as well, too. I'm good. Two chaining, fatal strike, nah. Fatal strike damage, increased damage. Soul chance. Oh, we're burning money. How much gold do we have left in this? 27, so we went through a little bit more than half a stack. 10 point. Mm? Uh, spiteful, soul bound. Ah, 23 gold. Alright, I might. Hmm. What's our current weapon? 29 damage, 2 chaining. And this is 27 damage, 4 chaining. Feels a bit crazy, but I feel like I'd almost kind of prefer to go with this sword still, just for the extra damage on there with Holy. Or Shining is pretty good, though. That's pretty nice. Four Shining, 13% Holy. It is only Tier 1 Holy. I've gotten Tier 3 Holy before. Like, that's the thing, man. There's so many options you can get. Healing 2 is really good. Attack speed is whatever, kind of, almost. It doesn't really make a difference. You're critting on the way down of every jump anyway. Mm. 
39 damage. Poison 2, Fatal sh That's so much damage, though. Jesus. Burn my money. I don't give a shit anymore! That one's already way past gone. Am I rerolling this one? I don't think so. I think this is insane. Does this calculate DPS like my other one does? I think it has to, right, with the holy? Because this is, uh, or no, it's probably the attack speed difference, actually. Yeah, it's the attack speed difference. I mean, I could kind of see a difference in the attack speed. Yeah, I can see the difference, actually. That's pretty good. We can wrap this sword for a little bit, just kind of see what four chaining's like. Yeah, it's actually noticeable. I feel like chaining is going to be really noticeable when we get 100% crit hit without having to jump crit every time, because the jump is what prevents you from being able to get, like, multiple swings down, right? Because, like, I'm already... Yeah, it's already faster than my jump speed is. I think same with this. Hmm, actually, are these full charges? Actually. Actually, this might allow, like... Oh, that actually makes a really significant difference in that way. Because I think with full jumping... Yeah, the sword actually vanishes in the other one. Mm. That's pretty huge. Okay, so, chat, really quickly. Really quickly, I know we just slammed down, like, a ton of swords and stuff, and it's like, dude, we're we gonna run more vaults? Um... Here's kind of like the, the game plan that I have for Vault Hunters at the moment because I am like, you know, we're level 41 now, like we're apparently past mid game or whatever, that kind of thing. And I don't know, but like I, I'm talking to this guy a little bit right now. I have an idea of what scaling is intended to look like. Um, I'm probably not going to be running too many vaults at my level for right now. I'm going to kind of kick it back a little bit and focus a little bit more on base work. We have a ton of um, knowledge essence and stuff, like a ton of knowledge essence. Bandit's height is covered, vault diamonds are covered, like, we can unlock create, we can hang around some other mods, get actually expanding up on the island, um, and progress on here in the way that I need to, with, like, infrastructure and stuff, because I don't want to get gated out from not having fucking granite to my altar. Um, so it's kind of like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this, like, opportunity to take some time, chill my base, and really catch up with stuff that I need to on here. So I think that's probably going to be the content for ideally the next week, I would say, at the minimum. is like base infrastructure work. I know, mechanism week all over again. But like this time I'm actually pushing it. Uh, that being said, I'll still run co-ops with everybody, any opportunity that I can. But in terms of like running vaults at my own level, I'm probably going to keep that down just a little bit for right now. Um give the developers time to kind of catch up and be like, okay, so we got people at level 40 now. How do we want to introduce these kinds of things with scaling and stuff, make sure things are balanced. Cause like, also I don't, I don't exactly want to have the same thing happen to me where I was running uh, vaults all the way up to level 29 before realizing that tier two mobs were supposed to have happened back at level 20. And it's like, I, I personally wish that I could have undone all of that, right? Because, like, I don't want to run vaults where I'm a higher... Like, I'm more powered than I should be compared to mobs that aren't dealing enough damage to me or, like, I'm killing them too quickly. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel right. I feel like I'm cheesing progression too much. So I don't want the same thing to happen here where it's like, okay, there should be different things happening at level 40, but they're not. But now I have greater weapons, so it's like I'm imbalanced. And, like, just for me playing, not even, like, content creation standpoint, just me enjoying the game, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to kick it back because, like, I've got plenty of base work and stuff to do on here. We'll kick on co-ops because that's always fucking fun doing, like, co-op scabs or whatever. Um, so maybe um, I'll see. I, I, I don't necessarily have, like... Let me rewind the... A little bit. Um... 
yeah, base work, infrastructure, that kind of thing, whatever. Do you intend to open up shops soon? Yeah, we can maybe also look into, like, opening up some shops around spawn as well, too. I might take this opportunity, like, when we dive into create to maybe, like, try and get a little inspo from Zine and do some, like, create spawn work or whatever and try and get, like, some shops and stuff set up around the server. Because at the moment, I don't think we're lacking in cooperative, in like, engagement with each other. Like, we got... Vaults who are running every fucking day with multiple people at a time. It's so sick. We got, um, honestly, Chosen, like, this is hype. Like, the whole mailbox thing he's set up for us and, like, kind of introduced us to. Like, that's really cool. Um, so it's not, like, we don't necessarily need a spawn shop for people to interact. In fact, it'll probably be considerably less visited compared to Season 2 was. Um, yeah, well, like, focus on that kind of stuff, I think, would be a little bit more idea. Also causes, causes huge shock when they get added and suddenly you're under-equipped for them. It's kind of fun getting tier 2 mobs level 29, though. I was like, damn, these motherfuckers hurt. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... I did say this is going to be a, a early stream, or like a... Not early stream, like a shorter stream, because I don't want to go to bed at 5 a.m.